Hi boys and girls, Miss Booksy here from Cool School. Today we're showing appreciation for all the dads. Let's watch all the fun moments we've had with dads here at Cool School. Well, that was delicious. Better be on my way. He was just about to leave the castle when he saw a perfect red rose. Just like the one Belle wanted. What do you think you're doing? Ah, nothing. I was just leaving. You come into my castle, sleep by my fire, eat my food, and now you steal from me? To be fair, I thought that food was left by the breakfast fairy. Breakfast fairy? There's no such thing as a breakfast fairy. Oh, really? Really? I'm so, so sorry. My daughter Belle wanted a red rose, and I saw this and it's perfect. A perfect rose for my perfect girl. I'm really sorry. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. You may go and take this rose to your daughter. Okay. But she must return and work for me. Okay. Wait. No. It's either that or you stay here forever! No, no, you can't! If I don't go, he'll come find you, and then what? I'll go, I'll work, and then I'll come home. No big deal. And so it was settled. Belle would go to the beast. Hi kids, welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading Beauty and the Beast. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Belle Rose, but everyone just called her Belle. Hi. <laughs> Belle lived in a small village with her father, one sister, and one brother. Her father was very nice, but her sister and brother, not so nice. I'm not sure why they were so mean. They just were, and they were always fighting. Uh, taking things that didn't belong to them. And making up ridiculous fibs. I didn't take your book, Belle. A ninja broke into the house and stole your book. No, uh I saw her take it. Nuh-uh. Wow, that is so mean. So yeah, <laughs> but it was okay. As I said, my dad was the nicest dad ever in the history of daddom. <laughs> One day, he got me a puppy for like no reason. <laughs> my dad had lots of ships that went all over the world selling stuff. That's how he could afford to buy us fancy clothes and jewelry and stuff. But one day, it went all down the drain. One very bad hurricane and my dad lost everything. Well, he lost the ships and the jewelry and the fancy clothes, but he still had us. It's okay, kids. We're still together and that's what matters. Yeah, family. Aw, that is so nice. But Belle's brother and sister were not happy. They thought being rich mattered more than anything. Anyway, let's move the story along. It's called Beauty and the Beast, not Beauty and her sister and brother. <laughs> one day, Belle's dad found out that an old ship had drifted into the harbor. It has to be one of my ships, kids. I just know it. Yay, we're rich again. Presents. Yes, presents for everyone. What would you like? I want a pony and a new dress and a tiara. I want a new bike and a new dog. And you, Belle, what would you like? Just one red rose from the flower market. A rose for my bell rose. Boring. So basic. So off Belle's dad went, whistling a happy tune. La 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 la, everything's great. But when he got to the harbor, he saw that the mystery ship was just an old pirate ship with nothing but a couple of parrots and a rusty old hook on board. He headed back home, whistling a sad tune. La 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 la. Everything's not great. That is so sad. And then as if things weren't bad enough for poor old Belle's dad, it started to rain hard. Oh, hey, a castle. I bet it's nice and warm in there. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? The castle was dark and very quiet. He slept like a baby all through the night, and when he woke, he found that someone had made him breakfast. Hello? Hmm. Must be from the breakfast fairy. The breakfast fairy is just like the tooth fairy, by the way. But instead of money, she leaves you breakfast, and you don't even have to give her one of your teeth. Wow, that is so cool. Well, that was delicious. Better be on my way. He was just about to leave the castle when he saw a perfect red rose. Just like the one Belle wanted. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Ah, a beast! Nothing, I was just leaving. You come into my castle, sleep by my fire, 
eat my food, and now you steal from me? To be fair, I thought that food was left by the breakfast fairy. Breakfast fairy? There's no such thing as a breakfast fairy. Oh, really? Uh, really? I'm so, so sorry. My daughter Belle wanted a red rose, and I saw this, and it's perfect. A perfect rose for my perfect girl. I'm really sorry. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. You may go and take this rose to your daughter. Okay. But she must return and work for me. Okay. Wait. No. It's either that or you stay here forever. But my kids, they won't know where I've gone. I, I can't stay. Then send me Belle. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Chapter two, here we go. Belle's dad had left the castle with the rose, but he didn't know what to do. Could he really send his daughter to work for this beast? Surely not, but what can he do? I'll go back and I'll fight him. Stand back, beast. I'm here to defeat you. Maybe not. I know, I'll send a decoy. He must be Belle. No. He'd never fall for it. It's useless. He arrived home, still not sure what to do. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Dad, I was so worried about you. Where's my bike? Where's my pony? Their dad explained that there would be no pony and no new bike. It's okay, Dad. I'm just glad you're home. Oh, Belle, I did bring you a rose. It's lovely. Did you get it at the market? It's way prettier than usual. Interesting story, actually. He explained the whole beast situation. When he was done, Belle and her siblings looked like this. I'm not going to work for a stinky beast. Me either. No way. Gross. Of course not. We'll figure this out. I'll go. Great. That settles it. See ya, Belle. Belle, no. You can't. If I don't go, he'll come find you. And then what? I'll go, I'll work, and then I'll come home. No big deal. And so it was settled. Belle would go to the beast. Oh no. I hope they'll be okay. Hello? Hello? Mr. Uh, sir? Oh, dinner is at seven. Hm. Okay. So like, am I supposed to cook dinner? Is that my job? I guess I better find the kitchen. But when she found the kitchen, she saw that someone had already begun dinner. It smells good. So maybe I'm to set the table. But in the dining room, the table had already been set. Well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait for dinner. Whoa, how'd the food get in here? I didn't see anyone bring it in. Now where's that beast? I'm hungry. Okay, that's it. I'm digging in. I guess I'm eating alone. <laughs> Then Belle realized that she was not alone at all. What? Magic. That's so magical. So cool. But wait, if this place has magic invisible servants, then what's my job? And where's that beast? Any answers for me, invisible butler man? Alrighty then, <laughs> I think I'll take a tour of the grounds. Belle thought the castle was the most beautiful place she had ever seen, but her favorite part was the garden. These are the most perfect roses in the whole world. I wonder if the beast enters them into flower shows. He'd win for sure. I better not touch them though. That's what got me into this mess. Apparently the beast really likes his flowers. You can touch them if you want. Ah! Don't be scared. Oh, sorry. You just startled me. Are you, um, the... The beast? Yes. Come out of the shadow so I can see you. <laughs> okay, but I have to warn you. I'm super scary. It's okay. I'm super brave. Ah! Uh, sorry. I was, um, I was just screaming at something else. I thought I saw a bat. It's okay. I know what I look like. Let's try this again. I'm Belle. Hi. <laughs> I'm the beast. Hello. Oh, so he's actually nice underneath. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter three, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Beast? Is that your real name? No, my real name is Sam. Oh, well, hi, Sam. So what's the deal with these invisible servants? Long story. They're not ghosts, are they? No. Oh. 
Phew, that's good. I'm scared of ghosts. There's nothing here to be scared of, I promise. Okay. <laughs> Question two, if you have magical invisible servants, then what do you need me for? You'll be my personal assistant. Hmm, that sounds cool. Belle Rose, executive personal assistant. I'll probably need a business card. <laughs> I'll have Gustav show you a room. Good night, Belle. <gasps> Whoa, this place is crazy. Has the invisible guy been here the whole time? Uh, boy, this is gonna take some getting used to. Belle followed Invisible Gustav to her new room. It was pretty amazing. This is amazing! Belle's bedroom had a huge bed with like a hundred little fancy pillows. There was a princess canopy, a giant chandelier, and only about a thousand books. Princess and the Pea, nice. Cinderella, one of my faves. Sleeping Beauty, a classic, but I'd like it better if the main character were awake more. She snoozes through like the whole book. <laughs> know what I mean, Gustav? You still there, Gustav? Okay, well, Gustav, I think I'm gonna turn in right now. That is amazing! Thank you very much, nice invisible people. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night! <laughs> see you in the morning. I mean, not see you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I should write my dad a letter before bed. <laughs> He'll want to know how things are going. Dear dad, what a day. The beast is not at all what I expected. I thought he'd be all growly and snarly and mean, but so far he seems pretty nice. The food here is very good. <laughs> oh, and get this, all the butlers and maids are invisible. I don't know why, but Sam assures me that they're not ghosts. Anyway, I'm sure you're worried about me, but I'm really doing okay. Love always, Belle. <laughs> oh, P.S. The beast's real name is Sam, by the way. <laughs> Belle was right. Her dad was very worried about her. That's so sad. It was hard for him to have his sweet daughter so far away and living with a scary beast, no less. Poor Belle. I just hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. So she lives with a scary monster, so what? Yeah, no big deal, Dad. <laughs> it's all my fault. The next day, Belle woke bright and early, excited <sighs> to start her new job. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Sam, what's on the agenda for today? Stocks? Bonds? Monthly reports? Number crunching? I was thinking we'd just go for a hot air balloon ride. A hot air balloon ride? Yeah, that sounds like fun, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Belle and the Beast spent their first full day together flying around in a hot air balloon just talking and getting to know each other. Well, mostly Belle talked. So yeah, my brother and sister are kind of annoying, but they're family. What are you gonna do? <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? No. Do you have parents? No. Any family at all? No. Oh, that's so sad. Family's very important, at least you have your health. <laughs> and a castle. Your hair is also very nice. Do you use conditioner? I use coconut oil in my hair sometimes. It's very moisturizing and it smells delish. Do you have any coconut oil? It's very nutritious. What in the heck is that? It's a hot air balloon, you dingbat. Yeah, but what about a furry dude riding in it? Say, that looks like a monster. I don't like monsters. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Happily floating along when suddenly. What was that? Someone shot at our balloon. Oh no. Ah, we're going down. Ah. Hold on, Belle. <sighs> there they are. Get him. Belle, stand back. All right, doggy, say I'm not a dog. He can talk? Of course I do. I'll try not to use big words so you can understand me. Okay, just get back now. Girl, you better come with us. This ugly butt looks dangerous. Wow, that is so mean. Back up now or we'll shoot. That was so scary. Are you okay? I'm fine. Aw, look, you scratched your paw. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeesh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're walking back then? Yeah. Belle and the Beast walked back toward the castle. Belle had a feeling that the Beast was a little embarrassed. She certainly wouldn't appreciate being called an ugly mutt. 
Gee, nothing like being shot out of the sky by a couple of huntsmen to ruin your day, huh? Thanks for protecting me, Sam. No problem, Belle. I'm just glad it's over. But unfortunately, it wasn't over. The hunters had run back to their hunting lodge, where they told anyone who would listen all about the big, scary beast in the woods. I'm telling you, he's at least 10 feet tall. And hairy all over. And he had fangs. Huge fangs and claws. Huge claws. He looked like he was half wolf, half bear. But this guy was me. Yeah, and he had a lady with him. We have to go back and save a lady. Yeah! yeah. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Luckily for the beast, his castle was miles and miles and miles away from the hunting lodge. It would take ages for the gang of hunters to find it. But speaking of miles and miles, he and Belle were still walking back and Belle's feet were starting to hurt. How much longer until we get back to your castle? Here, jump on my back. <sighs> Giddy up. <laughs> the beast took off and he was fast like a cheetah. <laughs> Everything went by in a blur, and in no time at all, the Beast and Belle were back at the castle, safe and sound for now. <sighs> that was almost more fun than the hot air balloon. <laughs> now, let's get your paw bandaged. Turns out the Beast was a big baby when it came to boo-boos. There, <laughs> all better. <laughs> and you only cried a little. I did not cry. Sure, okay. I didn't. Aw, that's so sweet. You know what would be nice right now? Hot cocoa. Gustav, can we have some hot cocoa? Gustav is in here. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Gustav! Gustav, could you make us some hot cocoa? Ooh, with the tiny marshmallows on top, please! With tiny marshmallows, please, Gustav! He should wear a bell around his neck. When do I get to hear the story about your invisible butlers and maids? In time, Belle. In time. Cheers, Belle. Cheers, Sam. <laughs> it was cozy and peaceful in the castle, but outside, somewhere far away in the dark woods, the gang of hunters were searching for the beast. Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Belle and the Beast were having some hot cocoa, super cozy and safe. But deep in the woods, the hunters were on the prowl. They were acting big and tough and saying what they were going to do to the Beast when they found him. I'm going to tie him up and I'm going to sell him to the zoo. I'm going to feed him to our pet alligator. You have a pet alligator? No, but that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Oh yes, they were big and brave, weren't they? Wait, I'll hear something. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Yes, very brave indeed. The next morning, Belle decided she would do something nice for the beast to say thanks for saving her from the hunters. Good morning! Huh? <laughs> Breakfast in bed. I made pancakes. Oh, I like the little smiley face. You should smile more. We'll have to work on that. And Belle did. She made it her top priority to make the Beast's castle a cheerful place. To the left. Little more. No, back to the right. Perfect. <laughs> he brought home a pet kitten, which wasn't so great at first. <coughs> but they got used to each other. I think I'll name him Scruffles. Oh, so cute. And she made the beast laugh with her hilarious impressions of Gustav. Huh? Gustav! Gotcha! It was me the whole time! I just pulled this string! Oops. My bad. Belle and Sam's favorite thing to do together was just sit by the fire and read. It was so peaceful and cozy. But it was also during these quiet moments that Belle thought about her dad and how much she missed him. <sighs> You all right? What? Oh, yeah. Good. But things weren't so good back at Belle's house. Please, go to Belle and tell her to come home. I must see her. I'm, I'm not, not going. going. Jinx. jinx. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Let's flip for it. Heads. It's tails. Sorry. Ugh. Belle, I can't thank you enough. For what? 
<laughs> Scruffles? Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> no, I mean, thank you for everything. You just make everything nice. Yay, I'm so happy. Well, you're welcome, and thank you. I thought I was gonna hate it here, no offense. <laughs> I, I just, well, you know, but I really do like it. I mean it. But do you mind if I ask you something? What? What happened here? I mean, you live out here all alone, you have invisible butlers and maids, and you're, um, different. I'm cursed, Belle. Okay, you're being dramatic. It's true, I'm cursed. I'll always be cursed. Really? Like, a real curse? But that's fairy tale stuff. Come on, just tell me what really happened. I don't want to talk about it. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. Good night. Okay. What do you think, Scruffles? Think we can break the spell? <coughs> what do you think is going to happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Next day, Belle's brother set out for the Beast Castle. He was so not used to nature. I think I mentioned this before, but he was kind of spoiled. I hate this. I'm hungry. Oh, a hunting lodge? I bet they have snacks. Hey, you guys have any steak tartare? Just kidding. I'll take a giant turkey leg. Belle's brother was also quite nosy, so he immediately began eavesdropping. He listened to a conversation between some hunters. Yep, those hunters. I'm telling you, the beast was this tall. I know, Harry. You already told me the story. And we're going to find him one of these days. Yeah, yeah, sure. But Belle's brother didn't think too much of it. Ugh, boring macho hunters. Check, please. What do you think is going to happen next? Back to his journey through the dark, scary woods. He still didn't like it. Ew, 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 I don't like this. It's cold, it's wet, it's dark, and it's naturey. That's it. I'm turning around and I'm going home. No trespassing ever. Beware of beast. Oh, this must be it. What? This place is huge. I didn't know the beast was rich. Cool. Can I help you? Ah, beast. Bell, help, help! Hey, what are you doing here? This is my brother. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. So sorry for growling. Bell, Dad's sick. He wants you to come home. No, you can't. I have to. It's my dad. I know. I'm sorry. Is he very ill? I guess. Oh, poor dad. Oh, no. I hope he'll be okay. Well, you can't go now. It's way too late. You're right. We'll go in the morning. Bill's brother was actually pretty excited to stay a night at the Beast's castle. You know, now that he knew he was rich, he made himself right at home. Ah, uh, I miss being rich. Bill, ask that invisible dude to get me some shrimp. We don't have any shrimp. Whatever. A guy could get used to this. Bill and the Beast, however, were not so carefree. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Honest? Yes. Okay, you'll miss each other. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. The next morning, the beast was even sadder. Belle could tell because he didn't even touch his breakfast and he usually ate like a dozen eggs. <laughs> Finally, it was time to go. Um, like, do you have a carriage or something for us? Or do we have to walk all the way back? You can use mine. Nice. It's beautiful, thank you. But you have to bring it back, Belle. Promise? Sam, I'll come back. Don't worry. <clears throat> we probably need some money too, like in case we need gas or something. This is a horse-drawn carriage. Yeah, but like what if we get a flat tire? Here. Thanks. And for you, Belle? Thank you. Giddy up. Bye, Sam. Goodbye. Bell. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The beast was lonely. He puttered around the house in his pajamas and made noises like this. I'm so lonely. 
<laughs> yeah, he wasn't doing so great. Belle, on the other hand, was so happy to see her dad again. Dad, oh, I miss you so much. I'm gonna make you some of my famous chicken foot soup. <laughs> It'll whip you right into shape. But Belle wasn't all smiles. She missed her friend. I wonder what old Sam is up to right now. <laughs> that is so sad. Anyway, while Belle had missed her dad, she realized she hadn't really missed her siblings at all. Uh, Belle, we didn't think you were coming back, so we put all your stuff in storage. Except for the good stuff, we kept that. We get to keep it, finders keepers. You understand. Sure, guys, whatever. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You look all blah. Have you been crying because you miss your hairy beast friend? Oh, Belle has a boyfriend. Belle has a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He's just my friend. You should marry him. He is rich. He's rich? OMG, Wiz. He's so rich. Uber rich. Like, he probably has a gazillion dollars. Good thing he's a giant beast. That way, no one will rob him. <laughs> he looks like his own guard dog. Wow, that is so mean. Suddenly, Belle's brother remembered something. That's it. What? When I was looking for the Beast Castle to bring back Belle, I stopped in a hunting lodge. Ew. I know. Anyway, I overheard these hunter guys talking about finding and capturing a beast. So? Well, we could tell them where he is, and then we can take all his rich stuff. The two started plotting their super mean, some might even say evil, scheme. Can we help you, Shawnee? You've been looking for a beast? I know where he is. Where? That'll cost you, and we're gonna need some help. The hunters promised to pay Belle's brother once he took them to the beast, but first, they needed a mob. Yeah! Who here wishes to foil the odious beast? Huh? He means to say, who wants to go get that beast? Say I. Oh. Well, grab your pitchforks and let's go. Well, that was easy. And off the angry mob went to attack poor lonely Sam. Oh no, I hope he'll be okay. Gustav? Bring me more herbal tea and ice cream. Gustav, I'm in despair. <laughs> huh? What's that? Belle? Belle, is that you? Oh, she's come back. Gustav, make that one ice cream two spoons. Belle, I'm so glad you... Ah! Uh, I mean... There he is! Get him! <gasps> Something's wrong. I can feel it. What? Go back to sleep. No! Sam's in trouble. Sam who? The beast! Oh, yeah. The hunters are capturing him so we can take all his rich stuff. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. Chapter 8, here we go. What do you mean the hunters are gonna get him? Our brother is showing the hunters where he lives, and then he's going to take all the rich stuff. No! Yes, now shh, go back to sleep. But Belle could not go back to sleep. She had to save the beast. I have to go save Sam. Okay, night night. Belle had never gone on a rescue mission before, but she bravely went out into the night to save her best friend. Good thing I still have Sam's carriage. Giddy up, horsey! Back at the Beast Castle, the hunters had tied up Sam. Normally, he would have fought back, but he was so brokenhearted that he could barely lift a paw. Haha, <laughs> Beast, we got you. Not so tough now, are ya? <laughs> Belle! What? Belle's my sister. You'll never see her again, you mongrel. Oh no, this doesn't look good. But he would see Belle again because there she was. She ran to the back of the castle where Gustav and the rest of the staff slept. Our girl had a plan. Now, what are we gonna do with the beast? I'll say we put him in prison. I say we put him in the zoo. I say you let him go, now! Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? This! Suddenly, one of the hunters was swept off his feet into the air and then he landed oh. on his tushy. Owie! Huh? Get out of here, Belle. Ow! What is it, brother? Ugh, I'm getting pinched by something. Ouch! Oh, that's just Gustav. Gustav? Where? Ouch, make him stop. Oh, stop. And that's the rest of the castle staff. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, I don't really know the whole backstory, but these guys are invisible, and I think you ticked them off. Yay, magic to the rescue. Okay, this is pretty hilarious, Gustav, but it's time to get these baddies tied up. No way! Yes way! Ow! Nice! High five! 
okay. I guess Gustav left the room. Sam, are you okay? Belle, is that you? It's me, Sam. You came back. I promised I would. You're hurt. Is that a tear? Sorry. <laughs> what the what? What is it, Belle? You're, uh, I mean, is that you? I'm back. Woohoo! Gustav! Okay, what's going on here? Belle, I was cursed by a witch a long, long time ago. A witch? She must have been very wicked. Yes, well, I was mean to her first. She was hungry and cold, and I wouldn't help her. So she turned me into a beast, made all of my staff invisible and mute, cursing me to a life of loneliness. Classic witch curse. I had given up all hope, and then you came along. Your friendship saved me. Yay, I'm so happy. But why did it take so long for the curse to break? I was your friend before I left. Your tears must have proved how much you care. Oh, Belle. Oh, Sam. Ugh, so mushy. Oh, can it, Gustav? I forgot how sassy he is. And that's the story of how Belle defeated the bad guys and broke the beast's curse, turning him back into a dashing prince. Their happy friendship would last forever and ever and ever and ever through all of time. The end. Oh, I just love happy endings. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Sweets Cafe. He always has hey the everyone, best stories and he's an Sweets amazing Cafe. chef. I he can't wait to hear what he's going to tell us about today. He's an amazing yeah. chef. I can't wait to hear what he's going to tell us about today. The Tale of Sleeping Beauty and the Soup Pancakes and the Super Berry Pancakes. The Tale of Sleeping Beauty and the Soup Berry Pancakes and the Ruby Smoothie. Oh no! What did you do to that? Wow, you've never been before? Here's how it works. What? You've never been cursed before? Here's how it works. Ah! I pricked my finger! Oh no! Ah! I'm getting... I pricked my finger! Creepy. Oh no! I'm getting... Good morning, everyone! Creepy. Hi, Rosie! You're here just in time! Good morning, before everyone! everyone. Gets here, Hi, Rosie! You're begins. here just in time! This is what before it's like gets before the madness? Here, and the madness begins. There's so this many people here like at the cafe! This is what it's like before the madness? Say? People There's love so having a sweetless breakfast before they start their day! People love having a sweetless superberry pancakes and groovy smoothies! Perfect to wake up to! 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 Yeah. Work for Sleeping you know Beauty. Her? The Sleeping Beauty sleeping that got beauty? cursed by a witch yeah. to one day. You know her? Fall asleep and never wake up. The Sleeping Beauty that got cursed right. by a witch to one day. But then she fall asleep woke up and thanks never to my superberry right. pancakes but and then she groovy woke up smoothies. Thanks to my superberry pancakes and groovy smoothies. She woke up because a prince kissed her. She woke happened. up from a prince's kiss. She woke up kiss. because a prince kissed her. Seriously? She woke right. up from a prince's kiss. No, it was definitely my superberry pancakes and groovy smoothie that woke up Sleeping Beauty up. Definitely my superberry pancakes and groovy smoothie that woke Sleeping Beauty up. She loved. Who, by most the way, of all, didn't let anyone else sleep. She was a she drummer. Most of all, this is going to be good. Drums. Are you ready? She was a drummer. Let's go. This Pound is going to be table, good. Clap Are you your ready? Off Let's go. go to magic Pound land. Pound the table. Clap your hands. Off we go to magic land. Hold on tight, land. Be there the batter with the spoon. Hold on Once tight, upon a time, there, there was a beautiful princess that loved to play the drum. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess that loved to play the drum. Even though nobody everyone in the kingdom loved her. Even though nobody could ever get a good night. She kind of looks like you. Like you. One day, it, it was almost time for the princess's birthday. One day, it was almost time for the princess's birthday. Did you invite everybody, Dad? Of course, Are you sure you didn't forget anybody? And everybody is so happy. I didn't forget anybody. I mean, and everybody is so very excited and tired. But that wasn't completely true. Very excited. Everyone in the kingdom was invited. Completely true. Everyone in the kingdom was invited. I do Except not want to invite that mean lady person. who lives in the I tower. Do not at the want town. to invite yeah, that mean lady who lives in the tower at the edge of town. Yeah, and flying around on a broomstick. And Aldrin and flying around on a broomstick. And, 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 and then she eats it. Something about her just gives me the creeps. Then she eats it. Something about her just gives me the creeps. Oh, that lady wasn't just any old lady. That's kind of like a witch. She was a sorceress. I can't believe everyone in the kingdom is invited. I 
can't believe everyone in the kingdom, kingdom is invited They'll be to sorry. Party. Very, except very, very sorry. They'll be sorry. <laughs> very, very sorry. When the day of the party came, everyone was having when the a day great of the party time. came, this everyone so was having fun. a great time. This is so much fun. Quiet, everybody. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Quiet, everybody. <laughs> and now the moment uh, the you've all been waiting for. The princess's royal solo. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, it the will be brief. The princess's royal uh, solo. Uh, Hopefully, it will be brief. Uh, uh, let's rock and roll, baby. Uh, let's rock and roll, baby. Done. Oh, I think she's done. Wow. Done. Oh, I think she's done. Wow. No. <laughs> I've come no. to crash this party and put a curse on your beloved princess. I've come princess. to crash this party and put a curse on your beloved princess. Oh, no. What did you do to me? Wow, oh, you've no. never been cursed before. What did you do Here's to how it works. Watch, you've never One been cursed you'll before. Click your Here's finger. how it works. Maybe not today. One day, Maybe you'll not click your tomorrow. finger. Maybe but not it will today. happen. Maybe and not when it tomorrow. does, you but it will happen. Asleep. And when it does, <laughs> you will fall <laughs> fast, fast asleep. asleep. This isn't just any sleep. <laughs> it's a cursed so sleep. This isn't just any sleep. It's a cursed sleep. And you won't wake up to the moon and sweet dreams. Sleeping beauty. <laughs> Sweet dreams, That's sleeping awful. beauty. But what if the princess is very That's careful awful. that she doesn't get pricked by something? She what if the princess is very careful that she doesn't get pricked by something? She just needs to make extra super duper sure that she doesn't touch anything sharp. Sure so they decided that if they stopped the princess from touching anything sharp, they decided that if they stopped the princess from touching anything sharp, they would be able to stop the spell from happening. No more running outside. The blades of grass have edges. No more running outside. The blades of grass have edges. And no more playing ball. It doesn't what? have any points. It's a ball. Better it's safe round. than sorry. It doesn't have and any no points. More playing the drums. Better with safe sticks. than sorry. What? And no How more can playing I play the drums without with sticks. sticks. Here, what? my love, put How these can on. I play drums without there we have. Sticks. This should Here, protect you. Put uh, these on. Why you there we have. Being awake this should protect you. Anything uh, fun. Why used after being that day, the king commanded to get rid of all the drums. After that day, the king commanded to get rid of all the princess to do was take piano The only thing they allowed the princess to do was take piano lessons. Do you prefer what? violin? Piano. No. But it's Great. So do you, you love her violin? No. no. Let's hear Great. Twinkle Twinkle you Little love it. Star. No. Let's hear Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Bravo! I could yes, play a that's lot very good. Bravo! Sorry, it's by the order of the king and queen. Keep practicing, and I'll see you next week. Sorry, it's by the order of the king Keep practicing, and I'll see you next week. I miss my drums so much. I just miss my drums What's so much. What's the worst much? that could happen? But where can I get two What's nice? What's the worst sticks? that could happen? But where hey, can I get those two branches nice look perfect. Let me just hey, grab those some. branches. Play a song perfect. real quick. Let me just grab some and play a song real quick. Ah! I pricked my finger. Oh no! Ah! I'm getting. I pricked my finger. Creepy. Oh no! And just like Sleepy. that, the curse took effect, and, and just the princess like that, the fell curse asleep. Took effect, the king and, and queen found her and fell asleep. Oh, totally heartbroken. The king and oh, queen no. found her and were totally heartbroken. They brought her back oh, to her no. bed and Our tucked daughter. her in. They brought her Maybe back to her bed and tucked her in. Maybe one day, some hero will wake her. If Maybe our princess is some hero will wake her. So shall we. Everybody, so everybody in the kingdom was so tired from not being able to sleep. Everybody in the kingdom was so tired from not being able to sleep. Just so like Sleeping long. Beauty. So they all fell asleep just like just Sleeping Beauty. Just like 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 Sleeping and I have Greetings. heard tales I of a beautiful Prince maiden Charming. cast under and a I have deep heard slumber tales by an evil enchantress huh? cast under a deep slumber I've by an evil enchantress. Oh, huh? great! Well, I've come to rescue up, Sleeping she's Beauty. Going to be starving. Oh, great! Why don't well, you if bring you wake her up, she's going eat. to be starving. That's a great Why idea. Bring her something something to sweet, eat. please. That's Today's a great special idea. Is my famous something sweet, please. Today's special is my famous coming berry pancakes and 
coming right up! Ta-da! She's super going sticky to love syrup. them. Ooh, good and luck. Don't forget everything the super you sticky syrup today is good that luck. bad. Everything Thank you. you need to and when she wakes up, isn't that please bad. give her this Thank present you. from me. And when she wakes we'll up, do. please give her this present from me. Uh, we'll do. Me, my little monkey chef friend. Uh, Which way excuse to the princess? Excuse me, my That's little easy. monkey chef Just friend. Follow the noise. Which way the to the noise. princess? That's easy. You'll see. Just follow the noise. And also the download my app. You'll see. Your smartphone. And also download my app. Aha! Uh -huh. That must be the noise! Aha! Uh -huh. Will the that prince be able to remove the, the spell and stop the evil sorceress? Will the prince, prince be able to remove up? the spell right. and stop the evil Back sorceress? The How does the princess wake up? All right. Back to the story. Oh, princess, princess, where oh, are princess, you? princess, where At are you? At last, I can hear you. I'm on my way. At last, I can hear you. I'm on my way. <laughs> Let's see. Noodle map says. Hmm. At the fork in the road, go Noodle right. Noodle map says. Okay. At the I fork will in go the road, to the right. Go right. Doesn't look too okay. scary. I will go to the right. Although Doesn't it look too sounds scary. a little scary. Although it Whoa. sounds a little scary. Roar! Give me your money. Whoa! Money? I don't Roar. have any money. Give Just me your money. Kidding. I'm a money. Lion. I, I don't, don't have any money. Money? Just but kidding. I am I'm a lion. pretty hungry. Money, sorry, buddy. But I've got no I food am to give pretty away. hungry. I am sorry, buddy. <laughs> I've got no food to give away. Okay, okay. I'm I was just kidding. Too. I've got some blueberry okay, pancakes. Okay, okay. I was just you kidding. You can have too. one. I've got some Whoa, blueberry pancakes. From sweets you cafe. can have one. You know Whoa, sweets. Of from course, sweets cafe. He's a legend. You know give me, sweets. Give me. Of course, he's a legend. Give me, give me. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Okay, I'll let you pass mm, without so eating good. it. Thanks. I okay, guess. I'll let you pass without eating Meanwhile, it. Meanwhile, in, the middle, in the middle of the Sleepy Kingdom, Sleeping Beauty was continuing to snooze away. Sleeping Beauty was continuing to snooze away. Pass me that basketball. Here, catch. Pass me that basketball. Here, catch. What? No! What? Will the prince get there no! soon? It takes a while to find your way Will through a mystical forest. Soon? It takes a, a while to find your way through a mystical found. forest. A faster route has been found. Hello. You can only cross Hello. my bridge if you answer you my cross riddle. My bridge I love riddles. If you answer it's not my riddle. supposed Ooh. to be fun. I love riddles. It's supposed it's to be scary. It's supposed to be oh. fun. Okay. It's supposed Sorry. to be All right. scary. Here we go. Oh. Okay. What kind of Sorry. cake can All right. you eat Here we breakfast? Go. What and kind of cake can you have for breakfast? You have and three it's guesses. Always round. And if you're wrong, you have I'll cast guesses. a terrible spell on you. I'll cast Ooh, a terrible that is scary. spell on you. Okay. Ooh, How that about is scary. carrot cake? Okay. You could eat carrots How for breakfast. How about wrong. carrot cake? It's you not always round. Try wrong. again. It's uh, not always round. Um, Try round. again. What is er, round? Um, round? A wheel. What a wheel of a car. Round? That's not a even wheel. a cake. A wheel Wrong of a car. Again. You That's have not even chance. a cake. Wrong left. again. Uh -oh. You have um. one chance <laughs> left. It's uh -oh. nasty um. spell time. <laughs> it's nasty huh? spell pancake. time. Oh, pancake. good thinking, Noodle. Huh? Maybe pancake. if I offer him a pancake, oh, he'll good let me thinking, go. Good noodle. Would you like Maybe a pancake? if I offer him a pancake, ah, he'll let me go. Would it. you like a pancake? A pancake ah, is a cake you eat for breakfast. It. And it's a round. pancake is a cake ah, you eat Now for step aside, my round. little snaky friend. Ah, now speaking step aside, my little snaky friend. Give me one. Speaking what? Of pancakes. I solved the riddle. Look, I can still cast a spell on you if I wanted to. the riddle. Just give me a pancake and I'll leave you alone. Fine. Just give me a pancake and I'll leave you alone. Fine. Yam. Later. Yam. Later. Wow, the snoring is so loud. I must be close. Wow, the snoring is so Thank loud. Thank you for your I help, must be my close. trusty steed. Sure. Thank you for your help, my trusty pancake? steed. Really sure. good. Could I if anyone deserves pancake? one, You're it's really you. Good. Wish me luck. If anyone deserves one, it's you. Wish me luck. <laughs> You're trespassing in my kingdom. 
This isn't your kingdom. <laughs> your it's Sleeping Beauty. Somebody this put isn't a terrible your curse on her it's and put her to sleep. Who Somebody put a terrible her? curse on her and put her to sleep. And now I'll put you to sleep forever too. Hold on. And now I know how this works by now. Let's just skip all the threats and I know how this works. You can have one of my pancakes. Let's just skip all the threats and the riddles. Pancakes. You can have one of my pancakes and I'll be on my way. Pancakes. Uh oh. I oh no. What do I do? Uh oh. Everything oh no! Needs to save what do the I do? Is in that bag. Everything but she you doesn't need to like pancakes. Is in that and the smoothie bag. is for but sleeping beauty. Don't forget the super sticky syrup. Don't forget the super sticky syrup. Don't forget the super Don't forget the super sticky syrup. Don't forget the super Hey you, sorceress lady. Of course. Take this. Hey you, sorceress lady. Take this. Ah! It's so sticky. Ah! After the sticky, sorceress so keeps straight. Get After back the sticky, here, you. sorceress ah! keeps straight. Get back here, you! Ah! I've found you! Maybe I better make this more romantic I've found first. you! Maybe I better make this more romantic first. Only one pancake left. We'll just have to split Only it. one pancake left. We'll just have to split it. You're that awake! So yeah. good! Out. You're it's awake! It's been a long time. Yeah. I came I'll all this out. way to it's rescue been a you. Long time. I, I came all this way to I rescue you. Breakfast. I defeated the well, evil sorceress my hero. and I brought some I'm breakfast. Starved. Well, oh, my oh, hero, oh, I'm starved. OMG! This is the oh, best smoothie um, ever! Where did you get this? My friend Sweets made it. Where did you get this? He is my, my friend hero. Sweets made it. What about me? Whoa. Don't worry, he is you're my a good hero. Tip. Oh, what about and me? Sweets wanted Don't me to worry. give you this present. You're a good tip. Oh, and Sweets Yay. wanted me to Drum give you sticks. this present. Perfect. The Yay. Prince and Drum Sleeping sticks. Beauty Perfect. lived happily ever after. The Prince after. and Sleeping and you know Beauty lived happily ever after. And your berry pancakes and my groovy smoothies. Super berry pancakes and my groovy smoothies. And every loud drum up, and they had never been so excited to hear music. And they had never been so excited to hear music. Sweets are cooking, save the day. The it's the end. best way to wake cooking, up. What a great the story. It's the best has way so to wake many up. More. What a Make great sure you story. So you don't miss any. Sweets has so Bye. many more. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any. The Little Mermaid Bye. swam towards the shore faster than she ever swam before. She was so excited. But then she started to think about everything that was at stake. What if she and the prince didn't get along? Oh no, she hadn't thought of that. What if the plan backfires and she gets turned into a sea urchin never to see Dolph and her family ever again? But the Little Mermaid soon forgot her worries because she had arrived at the beach. She had two fully functioning, not at all tentacly feet. Ow, 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 owie, ow, 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 ugh, ugh. Sea urchin, told you they were the worst. But at least I have my very own feet. <laughs> Let the dancing begin. Well, as soon as my foot stops stinging, darn urchin. Hi kids, I'm Miss Booksy and this is story time. Today we're reading The Little Mermaid. Chapter one, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Very little. See, there she is. Anyway, The Little Mermaid was not just a mermaid. She was also a princess, daughter of the mighty sea king. And she had five older sisters, also princesses. One of the Little Mermaid's favorite things to do was listen to her sister's stories about the world beyond the water. See, whenever one of the princesses turned 18, she was allowed to go to the surface of the ocean. There, she could see the sky, and the birds, and the clouds. And if they were extra lucky, they might even see a ship with humans on board. Sometimes, though, the Little Mermaid got the sense that her sisters were just making stuff up. Human people have eight legs. They kind of look like octopuses. <laughs> that was so funny. I think it's octopi. Whatever. And some humans have a horn on their head, like a narwhal. No way! You'll see. Land people have eyes all over their bodies, so they can see everything at once. Nuh-uh! Yeah, they do! Blah! I don't believe it. I think humans are beautiful. I guess they are, if you like lots of eyes and horns and stuff. When the Little Mermaid was almost 100% sure they were fibbing, she would go to her dad. Dad, is it true that human people have eight legs and a narwhal horn and lots of eyes and that they wrestle sharks and eat whale blubber for dessert? The only thing
thing you should know about people is that they can be dangerous. And you should never speak to one. Ugh. When am I going to get my chance to see the humans? I feel like I'll never turn 18. Uh-oh. She better watch out. But of course she did grow up. See, there she is. Right before her 18th birthday. Hi. <laughs> Let me tell you about life as a sea princess. We lived in a palace made of shells and pieces of treasure from sunken ships. At night, each princess slept in a bed of beautiful sea flowers. And you've heard of a school of fish, right? That's where we studied and learned. Actually, we did lots of things that human girls do, just a little differently. We played sports. Wow, this is so fun. We went to the movies. Only problem, popcorn gets soggy underwater. We acted in plays. To swim or not to swim? That is the question. You should have seen me in South Pacific. The Ocean Times said I was a star. Imagine, me a starfish. <laughs> so basically, I was just a regular girl. Oh, except my best friend was a dolphin. <laughs> Hi there. I guess you humans might not think that's too regular. Dolphin, I would swim around and get into all kinds of adventures. <laughs> like one time, we swam way super deep down into the part of the ocean that's so dark. You can't see your own tail. And then all of a sudden, we saw a glowing blob floating towards us. Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Ah, giant bioluminescent marine worm with fangs. Creepy! Bioluminescent means it glows. Yeah, obviously. Let's get out of here. And then another time, we hitched a ride with a shark. They can swim real fast. And they have big, scary teeth. But they can't turn their heads, so they're like, Guys, what's back there? I don't know, man. I don't see nothing. The craziest adventure was when we sneaked into the sea witch's house. She lived in a giant, sunken pirate ship. Super creepy, but also super cool. <laughs> the sea witch had gone out to get a carton of whale milk for her coffee. We swam inside and... Wow! Cool! We were playing with a sword. Well, I was. <laughs> Dolph can't hold a sword. No hands! And I was just about to defeat the pretend pirate ghost that I was battling when... La 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 la! witch! Hide! No! Let's get out of here! Out of where? Ah! What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 2, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! Ah! Care to tell me what you're doing in my house? Nothing! Yeah, we took a wrong turn. Yeah, I mean, we don't even like it here. I mean, <laughs> that's not what I mean. I mean, um, uh, see ya! Not so fast. Are you the daughter of the king? Um, yeah? I saw you on TV. You sang the oceanic anthem before the big squid dash in the orca race last year. Oh, down in the sea, by the prawns or the light, or the sea sponge we. Oh, I just love your voice. Here, have some tea. Oh, why, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, a beautiful voice. You wouldn't want to trade it, would you? <laughs> that was hilarious. My voice? Yes. I would give you something wonderful in return. Anything you wished. We should really get going. Yes, I hate to be rude, but no thanks. Okay, we are never going back there. Definitely not. See you tomorrow at my place? Not if I see you first. Fun fact, dolphins have very good eyesight. It's true. And really good hearing. Yup. And they're nosy. Bottle nosy. Heard that too, and it wasn't very clever. Oh, well, I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> he has a bottle nose, get it? Anyway, you may be wondering what was happening the next day. Nothing major, just my 18th birthday. <laughs> we were having a huge party, and everyone was there. All my friends, and my sisters, and my mom and dad. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> there was a pinata. Tons of balloons, and a pin the tail on the tiger shark. Hey, cut that out. And of course, we had a huge 
rich cake. <laughs> no candles though, because you know, water. <laughs> but I still made a wish. I wish that when I swim to the top of the ocean and look out, that I'll see a real live human prince. A handsome one. Not like what my crazy sisters keep telling me about. Like, I hope he only has two eyes. <laughs> like the handsome princes I've seen in my fairy tale books. I want to see him dance and ride a bike and play soccer. Oh, and I'd also like to dance and ride a bike and play soccer. That sounds cool. Hey, maybe I want to be a human. Just for a little while. What would you do if you were there? Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, sorry, <laughs> and I'm done. What did you wish for? I can't tell you that, but I will tell you that first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to the top of the ocean. I do that every morning. It's how I breathe. Oh, <laughs> I always forget that you're an air breather. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen a person? Not up close. What do you want to see a human for? No reason. The Little Mermaid was so excited about her first trip to the surface of the ocean that she could barely sleep. She tossed and turned in her bed all night. Finally, she drifted off to sleep and dreamed of having human feet. Hello, fellow human people. Thank you for coming to my dance recital. <laughs> now watch me dance with my brand new feet. Wow, that is so cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, eyeball guy, yuck. But the prince was really handsome. <sighs> the next morning, the little mermaid and Dolph swam to the top of the ocean where the water meets the sky. The last one there is a rotten turtle egg. Look, a ship. The prince, it's him. The who, what? Let's go! When the Little Mermaid and Dolph got to the surface, they looked out and saw a magnificent ship, definitely fit for a prince! What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure! Come on! Chapter 3, here we go! Wiggle, snap, story time! There's gotta be a prince on that ship, I just know it! What prince? That prince. What a dream boat! It is a nice boat, I guess. No, he's the dream boat. <laughs> that means he's a total cutie pie. I don't like pie. Humans love pie. Gosh, you don't know anything about people, do you, Dolph? I know that that one is looking right at us. What? Ah! I can't let the prince see me like this. Like what? As a mermaid. But you are a mermaid. Yeah, and he's a human, Dolph. Never in any of the hundreds of fairy tales that I've read have I ever heard of a human falling in love with a mermaid. Love? Already? Sheesh. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm getting a little carried away, but he looks just like a storybook prince. Not at all like my sisters described. They said humans have horns and eight legs and a hundred eyes, but this human only has two perfectly perfect eyes. Maybe we should go home. I have a better idea. Let's go see what he's doing now. It's his birthday too? O-M-G whiz. We are so meant to be. Look, he's about to blow out his candles. Real candles, Dolph. Oh, well, I wonder what his wish is gonna be. Maybe it's to meet a mermaid. <laughs> I wish that he would wish to meet a cool mermaid. Me, obviously. <laughs> and fall in love. And then like magic, I turn into a human with feet. <laughs> we could go on long walks on the beach, or do a three-legged race, or get matching patties, go shoe shopping, and of course, dance. We would probably be the best dancers in the whole world. Aw, that is so nice. Are you done? I'm getting hungry. We've been here forever. Hold your seahorses just a little longer. Dolph, they are dancing. <gasps> That's dancing? It looks like they got shocked by an electric eel. It's beautiful. Oh, look at all the colors. It's so pretty. <laughs> what is it? I think they're fireworks. I've, I've heard of them, but I never knew they were so cool. Look, that one looks like a smiley face. <laughs> cool. Wow, this is so fun. 
boat, the two watched until the fireworks were over and all the people had gone down into the boat's cabin. Okay, show's over. Let's go home. Wait, look! Starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Didn't he already make a wish on his birthday candles? Dolph, be quiet! I wish I didn't have to get married. At least, not to any of the princesses around here. I just want to meet someone who gets me. I get you! Someone who likes the things I like. Someone I can talk to. Someone down to earth who likes to take long walks and dance. I'm here! It's me! Be mine! Huh? <laughs> Whoa! I'll save you! What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter four, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. We have to save the prince. I'm on it. We'll never be able to get him back on the ship. Let's carry him to shore. Got him. Who are you? I'm the one you wished for. Uh-oh, here comes a human. We have to go. But... No buts. Let's go. Goodbye, my prince. I'll come back for you. I promise. That prince is so handsome! Sir, are you okay? Where is she? Where's my princess? You fell overboard. You must have hit your head. No, she was here. She saved me. Whatever you say, sir. Back at the sea palace, the little mermaid told her sisters all about her adventure with the prince. No way. I don't believe you. It's true, I saved him. Well, Dolph helped. <laughs> but he looked right into my eyes. And you know what? It's true love. I just know it. Give it up. You're a mermaid. He's a human. Um, never gonna happen. Yeah, go to sleep. That's a good idea, because then I can dream of my prince all night. And she did. The little mermaid dreamt of her prince, but something was off. Ah. Oh no, that's not right. Sea witch. Oh no, no, I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch! I'm not a witch! I'm not a witch! I'm not a witch! That's it! I'll go to the sea witch! She'll know how to give me human feet! And so the little mermaid went straight to the sea witch. Ah, the king's daughter. What do you want, sweetheart? Um, well, I wanted to ask you, um, about feet? You want to ask me about feet? Well, I guess what I really want is to be a human. Really? How interesting. Is it? You know, when you were here last, I offered you a trade. You can have anything you wish for, and I'll have your voice. Can't you do some witch magic? Like, how about I just pay you, and then you turn me into a human, and then you can work up some other spell for a nice voice. So, um, not that your voice isn't already nice. Oh, I love your voice. Yeah, sure. Well, that was weird. And why do you want to be a human so badly? Well, there's this prince, and I saved him from drowning. Well, Dolph did, but that's besides the point. I think I love him. Oh, the prince, not Dolph. Oh, I love the prince. I don't know, whatever. I mean, it's complicated. Okay, here's what I can do. I'll grant your wish. You'll be a human. Really? But you only have one month. If you can't make the prince fall in love with you in one month, then you'll return to the sea. Not as a mermaid, but as a sea urchin. A sea urchin? And everyone knows sea urchins are the worst. Yeah, they're awful. They hide in the sand and stick you with their stingers. Yeah, terrible. Oh, and I will be needing that voice of yours. But how will I talk to the prince? He needs to hear how funny and charming I am. <laughs> he needs to hear me sing. Oh. And hear my laugh. <laughs> And hear my Dolph impression. Hey, I'm Dolph. I'm over here. Little Mermaid, let's swim. Oh. I guess that one's more of an inside joke, but the point is I need my voice. We can trade. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. Trade? Who are you? I'm the girl who saved you. Ah, Sea Witch. Uh, well, maybe it's more mysterious and enchanting with no voice at all. Very well. Let's review. you. You'll be a human, but if you can't make the prince fall in love with you, then you'll turn into a sea urchin, and I'll have your voice forever. Deal? Deal. Abracadabra. 
Pleasure doing business with you. What's that? I can't hear you. Oh, your feet? Just swim towards the land. When you emerge from the water, you will have your very own feet. Oh. The Little Mermaid swam towards the shore faster than she'd ever swum before. She was so excited. But then she started to think about everything that was at stake. What if she and the prince didn't get along? Oh no, she hadn't thought of that. What if the plan backfires and she gets turned into a sea urchin never to see Dolph and her family ever again? But the Little Mermaid soon forgot her worries because she had arrived at the beach. She had two fully functioning, not at all tentacly feet. Ow, 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 owie, ow, 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 sea urchin, told you they were the worst. But at least I have my very own feet. <laughs> Let the dancing begin. Well, as soon as my foot stops stinging, darn urchins. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Okay, first order of business, shoes. <laughs> I know all about shoes because of the fairy tales I've read. <laughs> Maybe I can get some glass slippers like Cinderella. <gasps> These are perfect. May I help you? Oh, I forgot about the whole no talking thing. Darn sea witch and her weird spells. Don't worry kids, I can still talk to you guys, but just no one in the story can hear me. Ooh, that makes sense. You wanna buy these shoes? Those are a kid size six. Let's find something in your size. Ooh, these are much better. Wait, where are you going? You have to pay for those. You know, with money? Do you have money? Then I'm afraid you'll have to go. I'll buy them for her. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. What happened? Why don't you have any shoes? I think she's saying she fell off the boat. You poor thing. Can you not speak at all? You must have hit your head or something when you fell overboard. I'll take care of you. But Princess Lily, she looks like a common ragamuffin to me. You are very rude. And you are coming with me. You'll live in the palace until you're better. Oh, that is so nice. Um, awesome. <laughs> if she's the princess, then she must be related to the prince. <gasps> Princess Lily was so nice. She took me to get new clothes. And then it was time to go to the palace. Oh man, was it nice. Don't get me wrong, I love the sea palace, but this place was amazing. For example, they had this thing called an elevator. It's like magic. <laughs> You're on one floor, and then you go in this little box, press a bunch of buttons, and they light up, and then, presto, you appear on another floor. <laughs> After I got tired riding the elevator, the princess and I chilled out by the pool, where I tried to impress her with my water skills. <laughs> Turns out it's a lot harder without a tail. <laughs> that was so funny. Still, it was fun. Could it really be this easy? <laughs> First day as a human, I'm already best buds with the princess. <laughs> and it was only getting better because it was almost dinner time, and that meant I would meet the prince. I was so nervous. Surely the prince would recognize me and it would be love at first sight, or second sight, whatever. <laughs> but when we went to dinner, it was like he'd never seen me before in his life. Bummer. The princess explained to everyone that she had found me wandering around the town with no shoes, hungry and lost after I'd fallen off a ship passing in the night. She was wrong, obviously, but works for me. <laughs> Hey, I fell off a ship yesterday too. Small world. Yeah, he fell overboard at his birthday party. He thinks a mermaid saved him. It's true. I can't remember her face, but I'm positive I saw her. How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Mermaids aren't real, Jeff. They're just pretend, Jeff. Where does your family live, dear? Mom, I told you, she can't talk. Can she write? Oh, I didn't think of that. Great idea. Uh-oh, what would I tell them? Obviously not the truth. They just said they don't believe in mermaids. I know. Well, what does it say? 
It's all just nonsensical gibberish, sir. She must have bumped her head and forgotten how to write. I'll call the doctor tomorrow. For now, dinner is served. <laughs> I guess she doesn't like fish. She might just be full. She ate a lot of ice cream earlier. Dear Prince Jeff, you're right. Mermaids are real. I know because I am one, and I'm the one who saved you. You may be wondering, why does she have feet if she's a mermaid? Well, I went to the sea witch who cast a spell on me, giving me feet so I could meet you. And that's also why I can't talk. See, she made me trade my voice for the feet. I don't really know why. Witches' curses are usually pretty weird. Anyway, I like you. Do you like me? Circle one. Yes, no, or maybe. Yours truly. a message from the sea witch. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure. Come on. Chapter six, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Not a word, no cheating. That's all it said, but what could it mean? Oh no, did it mean I couldn't write to the prince either? No fair. This was gonna be harder than I thought. The next day, the doctor came in to check on me. Uh-huh. Stick out your tongue and say, ah. Oh, right. So you can't say a word, huh? And you don't remember anything? This is clearly a case of head bump induced non rememberiness I recommend lots of rest and ice cream. Ooh, this is so exciting. And you'll stay with us until you're better. Your family must be worried sick. And they were worried. The Sea King and all the Little Mermaid sisters were looking all over for her. Hi, excuse me, your highness. I, uh, might know where your daughter is, maybe. You do? Where? Well, she's been very interested in humans the last couple days. And? Um... Speak, Dolphin! Speak! I think maybe she found a way to go on land, your majesty, sir. But there's no way she could get onto land. Unless... La 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 Ziddy dee 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 Doo doo ba 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 Yes, who is it? Uh oh! Where's my daughter? Who? My daughter! Oh right, her! She's up there, with the humans. She thinks she's in love. <laughs> with a human? We made a deal and the spell's been cast. I can't interfere. Anyway, I'm busy recording my album. I'm calling it Witch's Brew. It's jazz. <laughs> that was hilarious. You have until tonight to bring her home or else. The Sea King was so angry that he threw the Sea Witch in jail. You're making a huge mistake. Then he sent a message to his daughter. <laughs> huh? This time it was from my dad, not the stinky Sea Witch with another rule. My dearest daughter, you must come home at once. You do not know the dangers of humans. I've sent my finest trained seal to escort you home. Love, Dad. I missed my dad, but I couldn't leave yet. Things were going really well on land. Plus, there's the whole curse thing. I tried to show the seal that I was safe and he could let my family know that I was doing just fine. <laughs> but I'm not sure he understood. So like I said, things were going really well with the prince and princess. They taught me all kinds of stuff about the human world. Of course, they thought they were just helping me remember. You know, because I fell off a ship and bumped my head. But the best thing I learned was how to dance. That is amazing. The royal ball is coming up and you have to go. It's so much fun. Oh, ignore him. He still misses his imaginary mermaid girlfriend. Hey, Jeff, maybe you can invite the mermaid to the ball. <laughs> You're very good at line dancing. Save a dance for me at the ball? Awesome. He likes me. Well, he doesn't exactly know that it's me he likes, but we're going to dance at the ball. That's something. Jeff, you know that Daddy is going to make you dance with Princess Esmeralda all night? That's who Jeff is supposed to marry. They've been promised to each other for years. Wait, what? But that's not how this is supposed to go. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter seven, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The Little Mermaid was very upset. Let me 
mean, wouldn't you be if you thought you might turn into a sea urchin? You remember the deal with the sea witch. Well, let me remind you. Flashback time. Let's review. You'll be a human, but if you can't make the prince fall in love with you, then you'll turn into a sea urchin, and I'll have your voice forever. Deal? Deal? How was I supposed to know that Prince Jeff was already getting hitched? What am I gonna do? What would you do if you were there? While the Little Mermaid was busy thinking, her dad, the Sea King, was busy coming up with a plan for her rescue. I'll just swim up there, and no, that won't work. Can't swim on land. Nope. Okay, I'll send all the sea turtles and crabs up there and demand she come home. They can walk. She'll just refuse to come. Wait, I know. I'll send all the seagulls to fly into the palace and pick her up and carry her home. But didn't the sea witch say she has to stay or else she'll turn into a sea urchin? Right, the sea witch. I'll just make a new deal with the sea witch. No, never negotiate with witches. But off they went to make a deal with the evil sea witch. Back on land, the Little Mermaid had come up with a very good plan. Okay, this is such a good idea, you guys. I'll just act like a mermaid, then the prince will totally recognize me. Then he'll want to marry me, and not this Princess Esmeralda. So obvious. OMG. I love it! The Little Mermaid was sure this plan would work, and soon she and Prince Jeff would be in true L-O-V-E. That spells love, by the way. <laughs> Meanwhile, I told you, the spell has been cast. Nothing I can do. What if you could have my palace? Say what now? You send me to land as a human. And if I can't get my daughter back, you win. You get my kingdom. Now that's interesting. Wait, your majesty, the mermaid really, really, really likes the prince. What if she doesn't want to come back with you? Well, you'll have to help me convince her. Me? Uh, and what happens to us if we fail? If you fail, you turn into a jellyfish, and I will have everything. And if we succeed? You won't. <laughs> that is so not cool. But if you do, I'll swim away to another ocean and never set a tentacle in your kingdom again. What's the catch? The catch is you can't tell her why you're there. The only choice is to make her fall out of love with the prince. Do we have a deal? Okay, let's review the pros and cons here. It's a deal. Oy vey. It's finally time for the royal ball. Okay, just act like a mermaid. But it turned out that acting like a mermaid was a lot harder than she expected. Apart from her doing swimming dance moves, she was at a total loss. Hear ye, hear ye, please make way for the lovely Princess Esmeralda! Whoa, we have legs, this is cool! I don't like it, these are feet! They're totally weird! They're not so bad. Look, I can jump! Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay, okay, enough nonsense. Let's go find my daughter. Meanwhile, back at the ball, the Little Mermaid had gotten a chance to meet Esmeralda and... Guys, Princess Esmeralda was totally cool! She was funny and pretty and smart and totally a good dancer. She even did this really funny trick where she pretended to find a coin behind my ear. I'm telling you, she was the best. Surely Prince Jeff must be totally head over heels in love with her. But Jeff just stared out at sea, looking for his mermaid. That is so sad. Oh yeah, my plan. He just needs to see me in my natural habitat. Girl overboard! <coughs> All right, I forgot that swimming with human legs is kinda tricky. Help, help, she's drowning. I'll save her. I've got you. Not the romantic rescue I was expecting. When the two made it safely to shore, everyone cheered. Yeah! Yay, great job. You swim like a natural, like a dolphin. Thanks, I'm Princess Esmeralda. Who are you? Uh, I'm Prince uh, Dolphrey. Dolphrey? Yep, Prince Dolphrey. And this is my uncle, the king of Sea Town. Anyway, lovely to meet you, princess. Everyone was very happy to welcome the royal travelers. Everyone except for the Little Mermaid. That is totally Dolph and my dad. Who invited them? What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's keep reading. Chapter eight, here we go. 
Wiggle, snap, story time. Dolph and the Sea King, I mean Prince Dolphery and the King of Sea Town had just arrived and everyone was very happy to welcome the new guests to the Royal Ball. The Little Mermaid, of course, was a little suspicious. Right? I mean, why are they here? To take me back to sea? I can't just leave. And how did they get feet? They must have made a deal with the Sea Witch. That can't be good. We're all doomed. How are they ever going to get out of this one? And look at Dolph, laughing it up with Esmeralda like they've known each other for years! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Ahem, Dolph, what happened to the rescue mission? I'm on it. I'll distract Esmeralda so the Little Mermaid can fall in love with the prince. Then the spell will be broken. But then she'll be a human forever, Dolph! Oh, right. We have to make her fall out of love. So the two of them hatched a plan to make the Little Mermaid fall out of love. They put marbles on the dance floor to make them look clumsy. But the Little Mermaid just thought it was a cool new dance and joined in. They released helium out of party balloons to make his voice all squeaky. Would you like a glass of punch? Whoa, what's up with my voice? But the Little Mermaid thought the prince was just being so hilarious. I thought that would work. Me too! <laughs> that was so funny. The Sea King and Dolph even shaved a skunk stripe in his hair when he wasn't looking. Huh? But the Little Mermaid didn't think it was a weird haircut or anything. She thought he looked really cool. I don't get it. No matter what we do, she just likes him more. Ugh, who could like a human? I don't know, they're not so bad. Like, take Esmeralda. She's pretty cool. Not you, too. What? I just think she's neat. Actually, I'm gonna go see what she's up to right now. Dolph! I don't know, she might need some punch or something. The Sea King didn't know what to do. His plan was failing. His daughter had a mega crush on a human and it seems like there was nothing he could do to change her mind. Pretty soon, the Sea Witch would win and gain control of his entire Sea Kingdom. He and Dolph would be useless jellyfish and the Little Mermaid would be a sea urchin. Suddenly, the Sea King had an idea. Of course! Why didn't I think of this before? I'll just tell everyone that my daughter's a mermaid. The royal family would never let their son marry a mermaid. Excuse me, I have an announcement. Oh no. I just wanted to say it's so refreshing to see how nice you are to this mermaid. Mermaid? Mermaid? Who's a mermaid? Where? Right there. You're a mermaid? My mermaid, you saved me. Aw, that's so sweet. He's obviously joking, Jeffrey. Yeah, don't be silly. Of course it's a joke. I knew that. <laughs> no, it's true. She's a mermaid, and the sea witch gave her feet. The sea witch? This guy's hilarious. I mean... Right? Who ever heard of a sea witch? <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? Uh, long story. What do you think is gonna happen next? Let's go on another adventure, come on. Chapter nine, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. The sea witch had just crashed the party and um, it was awkward. So, um, anyone know any good jokes? I know one. How did the sea urchin cross the road? Uh, how? It didn't. I don't get it. It's an inside joke. Oh, now I get it. Time's almost up, by the way. Uh-oh, I had to get the prince to declare his love for me, and fast. If that didn't happen soon, then I'd be a sea urchin forever. What's the matter, dear? Cheer up, it's a party, right, Prince Jeff? Wait a second, your voice. You sound so familiar. Darling, don't you remember me? I rescued you. But you're not a mermaid. No, sweetie, I'm not, but... You fell in love with me, remember? I remember now. And you said we were to be married, remember that? That's right. Excellent, let's all just forget about all that silly nonsense about mermaids and sea witches, okay? Okay. Great, all right, who's ready for a royal wedding? Cool. Sounds great. Mazel tov. Oh no, everyone was hypnotized by the evil sea witch's spell. What, no. It can't be. Well, everyone except for me, Dolph, and my dad. I guess this spell only worked on real humans. I don't even know how evil magic works. 
Okay, quick rundown on why this is very, very bad. If Prince Jeff marries her, then the mermaid turns into a voiceless sea urchin. And we turn into jellyfish, I think. All these curses and spells are starting to get confusing. Then the sea witch will take over the entire sea kingdom. And she'll be royalty here on land if she marries the prince. She could take over the whole world. We gotta stop this. Yeah. And now the part where we come up with a plan. Operation Defeat the Evil Sea Witch, part one. He may have had human legs, but my dad was still the almighty sea king. And that meant he could summon an army of the toughest sea creatures to help us. <gasps> Is this thing on? <gasps> uh, what's up, your majesty? I need you to gather all your friends. It's time to battle. Ooh, this is so exciting. While the Sea King explained the situation to the shark, Dolph began his part of the plan, which brings us to Operation Defeat the Evil Sea Witch, part two. E -e 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 hey guys, Dolph, is that you? What happened to your tail? Uh, that's not important, but listen up. I need your help. Dolph explained everything to his dolphin brethren while I went to work on my part of the plan, stall for time. The sea witch had put everyone to work while she was just lounging around in a deck chair, sipping on a pineapple drink and barking orders. I don't want crab, I want lobster. You call these flowers, try again. More shiny thingies, more ruffly stuff, more everything. Jeez, what a bridezilla. That is so not cool. We're almost finished with this dress. Oh no, we have to start all over. Oops. Wedding today, 3 p.m. <laughs> now to find Prince Jeff. I'm so excited to marry my true love. Poor guy, he doesn't know what he's saying. Hey, let me out. I have to get married to my lovely bride. Ugh. Okay, I hope Dolph and my dad are ready. What do you think you're doing, you urchin? Oh no, I hope they'll be okay. Let's keep reading. Chapter 10, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. I've decided I can't wait to marry the prince. He's just so dreamy. Out of my way, shrimp. Wow, that is so mean. She looks mad. My darling, let's go get married. Okay, my love. Things are getting a little too real. Where's Dolph and my dad? E -e 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 -e. They're here! Whoa! Whoa! Let's go! Start the wedding! We're gathered today, whoa, to join this, whoa! Skip to the end. Do you? Wait, what's your name? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Do you? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Take this man, Prince Jeff, to be. I do. Prince Jeff, do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Don't worry, we got this. You, you're doing this. I was gonna play fair, but I changed my mind. Ah, watch out! You'll have to go through me first. No problem. Ah! Mmm, <laughs> tastes like chicken. Uh, what happened? The evil sea witch's spell is broken. Hey, that guy has a tail. Uh-oh. What's going on? Really long story. Hey, talking dolphin. Uh, I should go. And look, she's a mermaid. Uh, uh-oh. Wait a minute, it's you. It is. <laughs> you can talk. I can. <laughs> and you're a real mermaid. Yeah. Very cool. Jeff, are you okay? Absolutely. I told you mermaids were real. Oh, so cute. Six months later. So everything was working out great. The sea witch was defeated and her spells were broken. 
I didn't turn into a gross sea urchin, and my dad and dolls weren't turned into jellyfish. Yay! <laughs> Esmeralda admitted she didn't want to get married anyway. Convenient. <laughs> and Prince Jeff finally found his mermaid. Moi. <laughs> and best of all, after lots of begging and explaining, my dad and Prince Jeff's parents agreed that it would be okay if he and I went on a real date. So far, so good. And by the way, um, milkshakes are delicious. <laughs> hey, wanna hear me sing? Of course. <laughs> Aw, happily ever after. What a great story. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time, bye. Today we're reading Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Wiggle, snap, story time! Mike was the coolest girl around. She was funny. And then I said, that's not a yo-yo, it's a chicken! <laughs> <laughs> and best of all, she was kind to every oh. creature on Earth. She was even kind to her stepmother, Katrine Francesca Karina Amelia Anastasia von Kluster Stottenstein. <laughs> You can call her the Evil Queen for short. As you might guess, the Evil Queen was not nice at all. It's like she only cares about herself. Yes, that was the problem. The Queen did not care for anyone other than herself, and she cared for herself way too much. She even traveled all the way to Grim Forest, wow. where the witches lived, just to buy a magic mirror that would tell her how great she was. This one is real nice. It'll tell you how wonderful you are. Error, error. Oh! Never mind, that one's no good. Okay, now this magic mirror is top of the line. You're gonna love it. Honestly, I'm getting some mean vibes from you. <laughs> Next. Uh, okay, uh, this one. This is a great magic mirror. Go ahead, ask it. Excuse me, Mr. Mirror. No, 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 no. You gotta say, mirror, mirror on the wall. It likes that. All right, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? You are my queen. You are the most amazing person of all. You're the best. Aha, I'll take it. Oh man, Snow White's stepmother loved that mirror. She would ask it like a dozen times a day if she was still the most amazing person in all the land. Will you pass the gravy, please? Hold on, hold on. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. It's your turn. Yes, yes, one moment. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. This again? <laughs> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who I'm trying to sleep! <laughs> so yeah, the mirror was pretty annoying. The queen loved giving Snow White chores, as evil queens tend to do. So one day she was cleaning the evil queen's bedroom. She was just about finished when she noticed some schmutz on the magic mirror. Snow White reached out to dust the mirror and... <gasps> it's you! What? You are the most amazing person in the land! Why, thank you, but don't say that. The queen will get, like, really mad. Ugh, she is so mean but I can see that you have a good heart. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, but you really must keep telling her that she's the best. Promise? Okay. Long story short, the mirror did not keep his promise for long. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most amazing person of all? You, my lady, are an amazing person. Of all? Yeah, sure, of all. Say it then, say the whole thing. Um, what is that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It sounded like something. It's just that Snow White may be more amazing. But the queen didn't scream or break things, and she didn't cry. She was just very quiet. That's not good, kids. When the evil queen gets quiet, it means she's really, 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 really mad. For revenge, she gave Snow White an endless list of chores to do. I had to clip her toenails. Ugh. I had to brush her cat's teeth. 
And as always, I had to clean her room, which she had left super messy on purpose. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Tomorrow I'm sending you to the Grim Forest to return this defective mirror. I'm sure you'll both have a lovely time. Wake up! What time is it? It's time to go to the Grim Forest. <laughs> Here's the mirror. What happened to it? It's all smashed. See, I told you it was defective. See ya. She'll find her way into the forest, but she'll never find her way out. <laughs> okay, this is only extremely very scary. No big deal. I wish the queen hadn't busted the mirror. He would be good company about now. Ugh, and these directions. Walk backwards down the dragon's path? Make a left at the gargoyles. A backwards left or a frontwards left? Then hop on one foot. Why? And so the wishes shop should be? Yoo-hoo, right here. You looking for me? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, just witch's intuition. That means I'm a really good guesser. Come inside. So, my stepmom wants to return this mirror. Oh, this mirror is very smart. Top of the line. Or at least it was. Yeah, I think the queen had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I remember her. Ugh, she's a doozy. Tell me about it. <laughs> this mirror was perfect for her. He knows when to tell a little white lie. Oh, like telling her she's the most amazing in the land? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a fib if I ever heard them. Hey, think we could just fix the mirror? I was starting to like him and I have a feeling I'm gonna need his all-knowing powers. <laughs> all-knowing is good. We'll just put a new face on him, new frame, and boom, looks brand wow. new. Awesome. Snow White said goodbye to the witch and began her journey out of the grim forest. Why, hello there. Hi. <laughs> Maybe the Grim Forest isn't so bad. Once upon a time, a girl named Snow White was on a journey through the woods and needed to find her way home. Luckily, she had a magic mirror with her. It's getting dark and I'm lost. Wait, I know. The mirror will know how to get out. Um, hello, Mr. Mirror? Where's the on switch? Snow White tried everything she could think of to get the mirror to work. She tried voice command. Mirror, activate. She tried shaking it. Finally, she tried yelling at no one in particular. Why? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to frighten you. Are you okay? I'm lost, and it's dark, and this mirror is supposed to know everything, and it won't turn on. And I'm hungry, and I'm scared, and Aww. who are you? I'm the professor. You must be smart. Do you know the way out of this forest? I need to get back to my kingdom. Yep, follow me. Okay. The professor led Snow White out of the Grim Forest, all the way to where Snow White had began. Thank you so much, professor. <laughs> You're welcome. I hope to see you again one day. They said their goodbyes, and Snow White went inside the palace to give her stepmother the mirror. You're back? I mean, um, you're, you're back. How lovely. And I brought you a new mirror. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it on, though. It needs batteries. Duh. Oh. <laughs> well, good night. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the most amazing person of all? Better say me. It's you, my queen. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Squirrel. Keep the cast on for six weeks and don't get it wet. Aww. He's totally gonna get it wet. Hey there, Snow White. Let's pause for a second. That was Shep Huntsman. A lot of people just called him the Huntsman because he was actually the official hunter for the king. Okay, let's continue with the story. Hi, Shep. How's it going? Oh, you know, just hanging out. Cool. He's really nice, and he taught me all kinds of wilderness survival skills. He taught me how to call a turkey. Hello, can I please speak to Mr. Turkey? No, like this. <laughs> how to make s'mores. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? Are they done yet? He even taught me what to do if I encountered an angry fire-breathing dragon. Who's a good boy? 
Who's a good boy? It's you. It's you. Oh. Anyway, what I mean is, he's just cool. <laughs> you huntsman boy, I need to speak to you. Now. You better go. She's been super testy lately. Okay. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Huntsman boy, I need you to do a job for me. Sure, your highness. I need you to take Snow White out. On a date? A date? No, I need you to take Snow White deep into the forest and sell her to the wizard. I don't get it. There's nothing to get. You take her into the woods, you sell her to the weird wizard who will turn her into a frog or something. I don't think I can do this. It's not nice. Ugh. If you don't do it, I will. And trust me, that's much worse. The pretty little Snow White. Now run along. You have work to do. This is bad. I mean, you look red. The huntsman was very upset. He went down oh. to sit by the koi pond. That's where he liked to do his serious thinking. I really like Snow White. I couldn't do anything to hurt her. What am I supposed to do? Meanwhile, Snow White went upstairs to do her chores and talked to her friend, the mirror. Hey, how are ya? The queen is making the huntsman take you out. On a date? No, out in the forest where he's gonna sell you to the wizard. Chef Huntsman would never do that to me. The queen said if he doesn't, she'll do worse. I'm gonna miss being a princess, but I will be brave and I will go out into the forest and I will survive. Aww. One day, I will return. Not as a princess, but as a queen. Snap girl, that was fierce. <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman set off for their journey into the grim forest. It was a little awkward for a few reasons. So, uh, the sky is blue. Uh, uh I mean, a uh, nice day, right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect day for a stroll. Yeah. Just a nice stroll through a spooky forest. <laughs> Look, I know the queen told you to get rid of me. You do? I won't sell you to the wizard, I promise. Psh, like I was gonna let you. I can't just leave you out here. I'll be okay. You taught me all kinds of survival skills. I better go. Don't want to make the queen mad. See ya, Snow White. See ya, Shep Huntsman. And that's how Snow White began her first day as a non-princess. Well. I better start setting up camp. Perfect. It's shabby chic. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, third time's a charm. Excuse me, Snow White? Professor, boy am I glad to see you. What are you doing here? I live here now. <laughs> We're neighbors. Great, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> Who's your friend? That's Sassy McSassy Pants. That's your name? I love it. <laughs> My real name is Sasper. It's short for exasperation. No, it isn't. Snow White, you can't live out here like this. Oh, sure I can. I'm not a princess anymore. I'm just a regular girl. Regular girls don't live under a pile of sticks in Grim Forest. Come on, you're moving in with us. No. Aww. Hush, Sasper. Oh, I shouldn't intrude. No, she shouldn't. Nonsense. Let's go. Snow White grabbed her bag and followed the professor and Sasper to their little cottage in the woods. She was so excited. I've never had roommates before. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Good, Good morning. morning. How long have you guys been there? We're just so excited. We've never had a princess for a roommate, or any roommate at all, except Aww. for all of us, of course. And we used to have a dog. Does that count? I think so. Do you want breakfast? Snacky made pancakes. They're shaped like animals. They're the best. You're so perky for so early in the morning. <laughs> What's your name? Kitty. Cute. You fell asleep as soon as you walked in the door yesterday. OK, let's do names. Of course, I know you, Professor. <laughs> and now you know me and Sassy. I'm Snacky. He's the one who makes the pancakes. I'm sloppy. I see. <laughs> I'm clumsy. That's just my nickname, though. I'm actually quite graceful. I'm OK. Is that everyone? Don't forget me. I'm Tiny. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Well, I'm pleased to meet all of you. <laughs> Finally, it was settled that Snow White would spruce up the cottage in exchange for free room and board. She did other little things too, like cut their hair and make a new chef's hat for Snacky. Oh, and she changed all the light bulbs, which was a huge help. 
Snow White kept so busy that she didn't even have time to miss home. Actually, speaking of home, the evil queen was having a ball without Snow White around. She brought the mirror with her everywhere and showed everyone how it would say that she was the most awesome person in all the land. Ask the mirror if you're the most awesome person. Okay, okay, I'll ask. Mirror, mirror, in my hand, who's the most awesome person in the land? It's you, queen. You are so awesome. Pretty rude, though, if you ask me. Hear that? I'm the most awesome person in the land. Three cheers for me. Oh, yay. Let's have a party in my honor. And I'll save my first dance for you, Mr. Huntsman. I, uh, actually can't. I'm busy. Busy? Too busy to attend a party of the queen? What are you doing that's so important? She watched the huntsman from her window as he walked out of the palace and straight toward... Grim Forest? Wow. Suspicious. I'll have to follow him and find out what he's up to. The queen followed the huntsman into the woods. Who's there? What was that? Finally, they stopped. Hey there. Snow White! The queen rushed over to the witch's shop and barged right in. Hey, I don't hear knocking. This is an emergency! I need something! Something... Evil. Yeah, all right. What? No, no, I'm turning to stone. Why? Help, help, help. Wow. Oh no, Snow White had become a statue from head to toe. The dwarves were just coming back from work. What's that? Looks like a statue. It looks like Snow White. Cool, I want a statue that looks like me. Wait, I think this is Snow White. It must be an evil curse from that evil queen. She's so evil. The dwarves were so upset. Maybe she could kiss a frog. Here! Why do you have a frog in your pocket? Why not? It's cute! Okay, let's reverse this spell. Maybe say some magic words! Alakazam! Abracadabra! Kalamazoo! Bless you! It's no use! We don't know magic! We could go to a witch. Yes! We have to save our friend! The professor and Giddy set off to find a witch to reverse the spell. The two finally found what they were looking for. Ye old magic shop! Hello! Hi! Ding, 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 ding! Ah! Uh, I mean, hello! I'm Giddy! Good for you! And I'm the professor! We need to reverse an evil spell! What kind of spell? Our friend was turned to stone! That worked? Wow! Uh, alright, I mean, uh, let's see what I have in the antidote department. That means stuff that undoes bad stuff. While Giddy, Professor, and the witch mixed up the antidote, the evil queen was back at her castle, thinking, How do I know some dingbat isn't gonna stumble along and reverse this spell? I'm sure it's fine. Nope. I'm going back to take the statue. The evil queen strikes again. Wake up, guys! It's time to save Snow White! We have the antsy goat! Wait! Where's Snow White? I bet the evil queen took her. We have to go find her! There's the castle. Now what? We storm the gates and find Snow White! Wait! There's Snow White now! I have the witch's antidote. We'll just go up and turn her back to her old self. Hey, Professor, over here. Hey! Why are you in jail? The queen locked me up for trying to help Snow White. Suddenly, there was the evil queen standing right between the dwarves and Snow White. Save Snow White? Never! We will save her! It's time to fight back. The dwarves grabbed the queen's legs and stopped her in her tracks. Get off me! Get off! The queen tried to move forward, but it was no use. But then she spotted the witch's spell-reversing potion in the professor's hand. Give me that! No way! You got it! <laughs> now get off me! Then the professor had an idea. You want us to let go of you? Yes! Let go! Okay! Let go, guys! <laughs> Evil Queen dropped the antidote and it fell right smack dab on Snow White's head. Shoot, birds! Shoot! Why am I back at the castle? And Shep, why are you in jail? The Evil Queen put me here. No. Where is she? Over there! Owie. Let's bust Shep out of jail and put that bad apple in his place. Yeah! No! 
Sorry, majority rules. Evil queen drools. <laughs> Once the evil queen was locked away in jail, Shep, the dwarves, and Snow White all kicked back and relaxed, happy as could be. Now how's that for a happy ending? And that's the end. Hopefully Snacky can cook up an amazing cake to celebrate. Thanks for coming to Storytime. Can't wait to read more stories with you at Storytime soon. Bye.